Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I am back again. Yes I am. So today we're going to be starting my let's play on subsistence. This is going to be episode one. We're going to be having it on normal difficulty. Hunters are definitely going to be enabled. They're probably the, one of the best parts of the game. If you're brave you can have normal uh, re you can have revenge and periodic attacks, so that's the normal setting. But I'm going to go with only revenge attacks just because it makes the game a little bit easier when you start off, and especially because I'm doing a let's play, I don't want to get bombarded with uh, hunters. I'm going to go for 48 days per year because that's like double time, so you get two times as much um, to be ready for the hunters when they come in. They should roll in about day three, maybe. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm so stoked to be back and in. Hopefully making a let's play. Hopefully if this all goes to plan. Uh, let me know what your guys thoughts and theories are on it. So I am do only going to do what's best for you guys. Because you're my audience. So. If we get in here. It gets us in. There we go. Where has we spawned? Where have we spawned here? Next to the lake. That's good. There's a bear over there. First we're going to start off with some trees. Got some quick trees and wolf there. You've got to be so careful in this game guys. I just don't understand. <coughs> One night you go too close to a wolf. Or even a bear. I think even boars attack you at this point. I'm not 200% sure about that though. On this, day, on this game. Um, this game gets updated quite regularly as well. So if you are feeling like you want to check it out. I'll be explaining on my let's play how to play it as well. as. So I'm not teaching as well as uh, recording myself play it, so it's not pointless and it's for my enjoyment and hopefully your entertainment as well, so <coughs> it's all fun and games, it's all fun and games. So we're going to get enough wood here, we start off with a pistol, it's not too bad, but what you want to start off looking for is these little bushes called fibres, there, there are, you get water in your bag as well, an apple, you get a full mag of... Uh, pistol rounds and matches and a bandage just in case you run into any trouble so hopefully that should be okay so let's uh, come down here what I'm looking for is little bush that I just picked up fibers uh, scrap metal on the floor and like uh, little bags like wooden crates, bags and stuff like that. Let me see them in a minute if I find them. Hopefully they do, they're quite rare though. Not rare, rare, uh, they do spawn in but they're just an absolute pain to spot sometimes. An absolute pain. Um, boy, I don't want to get too close to that, it might actually attack me. These big trees here, if you get, that's a bear and it's coming for me. Oh no. It's not what we want, Mr. Bear, go back. Go back. Is there any crates knocking about? I can't see any. Really can't see any. Yeah, it's beautiful texture though, look at this, like a nice little waterfall. Looks awesome. Right, I'm gonna go find a crate, ladies and germs, and grab some more wood and I'll be back with you. Two minutes. Welcome back guys. You see that over there? In the distance? That, my friends, is bag. Which you get your loot from on the game. So, hopefully, it's going to give us something good. Just spotted it out of nowhere then. Okay, I just took the time to get some more wood and some uh, extra fibres, as you can see there. I didn't get too much. So, oh, another pistol round. Not bad. That's what we want. That is what we want. So, I think, if I'm correct, where I am. Um, there's a ni this here is a nice rock to actually maybe live on I suppose we could live want to live near the water or oh, actually that looks a bit nice around there so we're gonna go set up base start up a little base and set up camp um, 110% want to start up as fast as possible because these hunters in this game guys they are no joke like seriously no joke um, sorry I was just rearranging my uh, headset grab some this wood here thing about this is you don't get no like noisy tree animation when you chop down a tree it's not like just get, uh, the tree just gets a red X on it and eventually you can just go back to it so all is good that's red so 
the main objectives first off is to get the BCU up and running. That is what you want really. But you need so much stuff first off. Nails and all sorts of goodness around. Um T shirt as well. Just need to really to be fair, before we set up a base, we need to go looking for bags and there's one right there. Thank God for that. We need them. We definitely need them. Take all of that. Um that one there on that tree, isn't it? I believe. Yeah, it is. I believe so. That'll do. That'll do. Grab some more trees and the little rabbits are there. The thing is with the rabbits, you can't just shoot them. Because if you shoot them, then you just get a, like a destroyed carcass of an animal. Which is nasty to look at. And it's not really very edible. So you're picking bullet pieces out of it. Um, and there's one. Lovely. So it's always a slow start in this game, guys. It's always a slow start. Uh, just so I can fit more into this first video, I'm either gonna cut the video and grab some uh, of stuff we need, you know, just so I can. What do I need? I need five planks, so I need a lot of wood. Um, this, to be fair, this episode is not gonna really be a, a, an establishing episode. It's more of an exploring, seeing what's around in the uh, in the good old world. And from what I can see around us, they're in a lot of uh, mountains. Not around here. Obviously straight forwards. Oh god, that's what I mean. You've got to be so careful. Because you, they just come out of nowhere. They do. They? they just come out of nowhere. You've got to, got to be so bloody careful. There's ores in this game as well, like this. Yeah, that's uh, zinc, I believe, the blue one. Zinc, and there's a couple of zinc, copper, iron. Um, can't really remember if there's any more or not. Got oh, potassium, but to be fair, there's no like general stone in this game, which is weird for a survival game. You, obviously, your your uh, original um, survival game would be normally like you'd get stone, you can upgrade from wood to stone, you know, just like normally how it goes, but in this that's some uh, metal that scrap metal that you can pick up as well. This is the first one I've picked up I believe. This is a nice little water area. There's another bag there on shore. So it's nice to uh, finally start up and hopefully if you manage to click if you've clicked on and watched this far then I appreciate it. Hundred and ten appreciate everyone if they're watching or if you're watching. I do appreciate every single one of you. If you do watch it, because it all helps me out, the support, and even if you sub could sub subscribe and like, that would help me out massively as well. I've just got to be careful here. I've got to be so careful here. What's that? That is a medicinal plant, I believe. Yep. That's a bear. That fence around the map that you just saw up there, sorry, I forgot to tell you. That is the border of the map. So let's have a look under here. Underwater, you've got stuff I'll show you. You can get kelp, which is really good for your fruit, fruit root and vegetables. Because on this, you get proteins, fruits and vegetables, and hydration. Hydration, I can drink that underwater. Gnarly. Your hunger is like generally, if you keep these two at a base, then your hunger stays nice. But fruits and vegetables, oh my gosh. Didn't even realise. Completely forgot about being underwater. But if you eat them kelps that I just picked up, it's really good for your fruits and vegetables. Um, let me just break this open and get a nice white pearl out of it. Look at that, lovely. I end up drowning myself again here if I'm not careful. Any more pouches or anything laying around that I can grab? Or any kelps? So, like, let's have a look. I'm not going to drown this time. Fruit and vegetables, the carrots, like when I eat them. Obviously, it's going up. So that's a bonus, and you will get wet, guys. It says there on the right of the screen, wet. So you'll want to um, build a campfire pretty pronto, actually. Yeah. 
Never thought about that. Sticks. I can make sticks. But then, chickens are devious little things. You can either try to chase them and jump over the roads and catch them because for some reason the game doesn't recognise when you're chasing them with the space bar that, <laughs> that you're behind them and you're going to catch them so that's quite funny. Um, it's the bears and the wolves in this for me. I haven't really played this loads so I'm kind of learning as we're going along as well so it'll be fun to if you guys can help me out in the comments along the way which is obviously greatly appreciated. Um, so that's the edge of the map so let's go and venture this way I'm gonna run this way guys and I'll uh, see if it comes to anything welcome back folks I went on an adventure for one say and I traveled all the way from all the way down here where we was messing around near the water so I ran up, up this way kept going up this way and I ventured back to here. Um, I have used this spot recent before, uh, just over on that rock, as you can see, just above my head. Uh, I have used this spot before, but oh no 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 no, not what we need, not what we need. But I'm gonna go establish a base on that rock because one, you can next to water for fishing, so you get fish easy. It's nice and simple. And two, I will show you option two why. Uh, it's beneficial to live over there. I just gotta get past man. Chiffing animals. <clears throat> but I'd want watch it off for uh, fellas and uh, ladies if you're a lady. Um opinion on this game. I for one I think it's a really good survival game. Uh, probably my second favourite of what I've played so far on PC. Uh, seven days to die is a good one. And I could do a let's play on that, so I might be doing that sometime soon we'll have to see but let me just show you why this is a good let's see if we can try to catch this chicken let's see if we can get you come on come on come on we need some protein oh no if you jump guys and you might try to take me to the wolf but if you jump you don't recognize you there see I got him and if you're not <laughs> a fan of animal cruelty then this game's kind of not for you but, um, if it's still alive, which it is in my bag, I have to snap its neck and you get that little animation, that, that crack. So, what we need now, we need cordage, so we'll get one of those. And now we need five planks. One, two, three, four, and five. Right, so, basically, the reason why this is a good base spot is because you get all this rock, you've got next to all this water for fishing, got a little island over there that hunters can live on but they can't really get to you and if you build on this rock on a platform which platforms can float and you will see in, as we get further on what happens hunters can either die what I have recently experienced they spawned over there over there and there you get normal hunters so there should be three sets of hunters building a normal base I think there's one base called the fortress which is a little bit bigger than the others but I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't think I've actually seen it and you also get rogue hunters and at night time if you look you should be able to see like a little campfire and like a, maybe a little uh, platform a um, foundation a foundation that's the word I was looking for but now that's we just need them two to be done and that's basically why I want to live here I have also had a hunter on that little river there living on the river literally like built his house in the water so I'm just going to grab some more wood because I did just use a lot of my wood on the plank so let's have a look what we can make now I can make that in one minute but you're also going to want a wall and I don't have enough for both damn We'll get the foundation up there and get the campfire up as well. Cook this chicken before it spoils on me. And another one which I've also talked about in my introduction video. When you'd like a campfire, don't let it go out. Don't let it go out no matter what you do. Because you need a fire starter if you haven't got matches. And matches are quite rare actually. I don't want to be right over here or... be here. 
Look at that. Let's be here. Uh, gets campfire going. We need fuel. We can have put your full fuel in. That's used all my wood nearly. You need to butcher him. That's what you've got to do. Put your chicken in. Get your matches in the ignition and ignite that. And then it should cook away. But the you've got to watch your food in this game, guys, because it does disappear really. Uh, burn, sorry, not disappear. It burns really easy. So you just got to keep watching it. Um, what's that? I need four planks for that. So one, two, three, um, and then I don't, I don't have enough wood. Which I'm probably gonna have to start in uh, getting episode two. So let's just eat that, and then we'll wrap up for episode one. It's been uh, exploration. It's been an exploration one. This game is a slow start, guys. So I apologise for that. But it is like a it's really hard it's an expensive to get like all these things materials and stuff and when you make your workbench you get can make like rifles and stuff with sights and the hunters are so fun it's a good me uh, AI mechanic in this game I really do like it so I hope you uh, join me on um, get that low grade cooked that's what it looks like when it's cooked eat that with E and that protein shot back up so my energy will be coming back what is it to make a storage box I'm going to have to get more nails and stuff, so be probably before I start the next episode, I'll gather up some nails and be all ready to go. So, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one.